Now here at Golf Monthly, we've already tested 25 pairs of golf shoes released in 2023. And this video, we're gonna take a look at 11 of the best models before I crown my favorite and my winner of the year. Now, it's worth noting that a lot of the best golf shoes released in 2022 are still available and still excellent. So down in the description, I've put a link to last year's video where you can see my winner for 2022. But for now, it's time to crown this year's winner. Let's get started. Okay then, first up, best shoes 2023. Thank you very much, great throw. This is the FootJoy Hyperflex Carbon. Now, love the way it looks. We'll start off there. Love the colorway as well. And really great improvements on the 2021 version we saw come out a couple of years ago. The absolute highlight and what I love so much about this shoe is the Ortholite Impressions fit bed. Uh, that's sort of the insole. And as soon as you put your foot in there, super, super soft. And actually over time, it molds to your foot, which I think is really, really cool. It's about three or four rounds for me. And bang, it was like an old pair of slippers. So that Fitbed is the absolute highlight of the shoe. I love it, but I've got to talk about why is there carbon in the name, you might be asking. Well, here it is, carbon fiber wrapped around the outsole. How cool is that? It's great to have carbon fiber in your shoes, like an F1 car or something. Love that. And it genuinely helps stability. You feel really locked in with this shoe. And the fact it wraps around even up to the midsole here means that shoe is really locked in place. You know, put that alongside this excellent spiked outsole you've got here and it's a real performance spike shoe as well. I know I said it was soft and comfortable, but this is a performance shoe as well. You've got this sort of cage around the outside as well, which when you uh, tighten it up, again, locks your foot. And so you've got that great mixture of that locked in sensation with softness underfoot, which I think is exactly what you need from a performance spike shoe. This is one of the best of the year, as you might hear. I absolutely love it. So well done, the FootJoy Hyperflex Carbon. Okay, next up, please. Thank you very much. This is the Adidas ZG23 or Adidas ZG23, depending on where you're from. Uh, now, why this is my best 11 of the year is because it is so, so lightweight, especially for a spike shoe like this. The ZG21 that was brought out two years ago had a very similar feel to it, uh, but they've actually made this a little bit more lightweight, uh, which is great, and added even more stability thanks to this great stability fin you can see here. So it really locks your foot in. But the reason why this shoe is in one of the best 11 of the year that we've got in this video is this Light Strike and Light Strike Pro midsole technology. Um, it's, it's new in an Adidas golf shoe. You might have seen it in running shoes or basketball shoes before, uh, but it's different from the boost technology that we've seen in other shoes from Adidas. I've got to say I prefer it. It's a little bit softer, you get a little bit more energy return through the swing, uh, and it's made what is a really good, lightweight, stable shoe, just that little bit softer and more comfortable. Uh, apologize how muddy it is. I have been wearing it a lot this year. I've been really enjoying actually my, my go-to shoe so far. Um, so yeah, really impressive um, evolution from ZG21 with that brilliant midsole technology and one of the lightest spike shoes you can buy. Okay, next up please is, thank you very much, there it is, the first spikeless entry into this year's top 11, uh, the Puma Ignite. Elevate. Now, this is built on a very, very similar platform to the Ignite Articulate, the spike shoe that we saw last year, which I love. That was my go-to shoe last winter. So, I, I, you know, it's very similar, and I really, really enjoyed it because of that. Uh, you can see it looks very similar. I love the chunky outsole, very on trend, fashion-wise, and this textured upper looks really cool as well, and some pops of color on the outsole. So it looks great, but it's also got that fantastic Ignite midsole, which is, again, very soft, lots of energy return, similar to the light strike we just spoke about in Adidas. So I love that. Um, the outsole, this is a new one for Puma. We haven't seen this on one of their spikeless shoes yet. Great in dry conditions, great in damp conditions. Wouldn't quite trust it in wet conditions. We'll see a couple of shoes later in this video that, that do have a great spikeless outsole. This one isn't quite there for me, but I love how it looks. I love how comfortable it is. It's, it's just like that Articulate from last year. And I love it. I think it's one of the best looking. Let me know if you agree with me or not. But yeah, the Puma Ignite Elevate, one of the best for 2023. Okay, next up, please. Thank you very much. Another spikeless entry. This is the True Linkswear Lux. Hybrid. Now, hybrid golf shoes are very popular now. The, the shoe that you can wear on and off the course from the moment you leave your house to the moment you get home again. And this for me is the best of 2023. You can see how easy that would blend in off the course, but it's still fantastic on it. That's, that's the sort of thing you need to look out for. Um, we've got Nappa leather and a knit material mixture. It's 100% waterproof, which is really impressive as well. So you can wear it all year round. And this rubber spikeless outsole is really impressive. You've got a mixture of this sort of sawtooth, um, effect here and TPU nubs uh, that make it really effective in, in damp and even wet conditions. I've tried it in some pretty naff weather and it's really impressed me with grip. Um, you've got a Wonder Lux insert, which is True's insert they use in most of their golf shoes. Really soft, not as much energy returns perhaps in the Puma we just looked at, but still really soft 
and really comfortable. Now, I've tried four True Linkswear shoes this year, and I've got to say, really impressed with their range this year. This is their range topper for me. This is their best of 2023, and one of the best in the market for 2023. So yeah, go check it out. True Linkswear, Lux Hybrid. Right then, we roll on. Next, please. Thank you very much. This is the Painter X004 RS. Now, this is an out and out performance spike golf shoe. If you want to feel really locked in, swing your absolute fastest, gain a little bit of ball speed even, this will be the shoe for you for 2023. But let's go to the outsole because that's where all the technology is packed into this shoe. Uh, for the first time, you've got the brand new Soft Spikes Torflex Pro Spikes. Each spike has 10 individual bits of contact with the ground. And you've got, what, seven of them, plus these TPU nubs as well. And you've also got a carbon fiber, like we saw in the, uh, the FootJoy propulsion plate that sits just under here, which helps you harness those ground energy forces. Um, it might sound like a lot, but you can feel it through the shoe. This outsole is super impressive. And as I said, if you're looking for that out and out performance spike shoe to help you hit the ball a bit further, this is the one on this outsole is why. It's really, really impressive. It's still really comfortable too. I'm really impressed with how soft and sort of malleable this leather upper is. Um, it's uh, waterproof as well, but that softness just really adds to how locked in you feel. Uh, you'd have to try them to kind of get what I'm getting at here, but as you can tell, I'm really impressed. Finally, uh, a molded heel cup here sort of locks that heel into place. So you've got the traction from the ground, the traction from the heel, but the softness from this upper, it's fantastic. Um, Painter got a really good lineup for this year as well, much like True Links, where bought a lot of good new shoes out this year. Uh, the X004 RS is their best spiked one. I've tried the X003F, their spikeless one, which has a brilliant outsole on it. Um, so if they're not a brand you've heard of before, you will have by the end of this video. I'm really impressed with this model in particular. Right, let's find out what we've got next, please. Thank you very much. Here we go. It is the Duca del Cosma Bernardo. Now, I mean, one look at this, it, it oozes class, doesn't it, I think. Um, Duca del Cosma shoes tend to. And this, I think, speaking to other members of the Golf Winter team who have tested this year, this is the best Duca shoe I think we've tested collectively. I'm going to tell you why. Um, I mean, the detailing, again, this soft Nappa leather they use, all handcrafted. You can tell a lot of effort has gone into this shoe and it looks fantastic for it. Now, a criticism we had of last year's shoe, the Churchill, was it was a little bit heavy. Still that sort of broke style was a bit heavy. Duca have really worked on that and this Airplay 6 spiked outsole is one of the best in a spike shoe uh, I've tested for a long time. Um, you've got standard cleats, but also these extra bits here and it's super, super lightweight. Again, for a shoe like this, you look at the Premier Series from FootJoy or the G4 Galavanta, um, that brogue style can get a bit heavy. This has stayed really, really lightweight. Um, it's a touch firmer underfoot. That, that, um, that footbed is a little firmer than some of the shoes I've spoken about already. But I've got to say, just the looks and the performance you get from this, a real upgrade from Duca. Really, really impressed. And just look at it. I think the Bernardo is one of the best looking, for sure, of 2023. Okay, the best shoes train. It keeps rolling. Let's keep going. Thank you very much. Uh, my surprise of the year, the Cole Haan Zero Grand overtake absolutely love this shoe i mean look at it for a start pretty bold isn't it based on a running trainer i like that look i like the more casual hybrid golf shoe and this is the sort of uh the best example of it from this year i would say firstly super lightweight i said the adidas was lightweight earlier this with obviously without the spikes is even more lightweight but despite how lightweight it is it's really still quite stable you can see in orange here this sort of heel cut around here stops your foot moving too much from side to side so it's still a performance golf shoe despite looking and sort of feel like a running trainer, really. The, uh, the, the footbed is so soft, right up there with the foot joy for how soft it is. So you couple that with how lightweight it is, and it's fantastic. We'll, we'll come look at the outsole, because that's similarly impressive. I wouldn't wear it in wet conditions. It's not fully waterproof. It's, it's a summer shoe, uh, and this works great. I love the sawtooth effect, and it's really low profile. So when you do take this onto harder surfaces, off the golf course, you don't feel it, you don't feel intruded by it. Um, and I love the colorway, let me know, you might not. It looks like a piece of coffee cake to me. An orange coffee cake, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I think it's fantastic. One of my surprises of the year, Cole Hahn have got a pretty extensive range of golf shoes actually. Worth going and checking out. If this isn't to your style, it is for me. I love it. One of the best of 2023. Okay, next up, we're gonna chat about the Echo Biome H4. Now, that might be a name you recognize. Well, Echo have bought out a newer version for 2023 that's been redesigned and reworked in a couple of areas. So, firstly, that toe area has been reworked slightly to be a little bit more sleeker. I think it gives it a nicer silhouette from side on versus the old version. The tongue has also been completely redesigned to fit a lot sleeker to your foot. 
very comfortable materials on that, but it still features all the things that we loved about it a couple of years ago. And what make Echo shoes great, actually, in general, um, it uses Gore-Tex, so it means it's still 100% waterproof, but highly breathable. It lets uh, sweat out, but not water in which is great. We loved that on the C4 from last year as well. And it also uses Echo's really soft to the touch, premium feeling leathers. This really is one of the most premium spikeless shoes of the year, uh, in my opinion. The outsole's fantastic too, that mountain grip outsole. It's pretty good in the wet, better than some others, better than the Puma, for example, uh, but in the dry, in the damp, it's nice and low profile and still gives you plenty of grip. Loads of great colorways available. So if you're looking for something a little bit more premium, a little bit more stylish and more spiked to shoe, I think the new reworked, redesigned Fire H4 is a great option. Okay, next up is the Skechers Go Golf Elite 5 Slipper. Now this is a really, really unique one that I think a lot of golfers out there will benefit from. Uh, the key highlight technology is that hands-free slipping technology. So the sort of back heel part of it, we'll show some video of it now, allows your foot to slip in without you having to touch it. And you couple that with the twist fit uh, dial system instead of conventional laces, and it's a really easy shoe. You barely have to bend down and touch. So something uh, for some golfers to be aware of, something that I think a lot of you will enjoy. Uh, and it also features, which I have tested in last year's Hyper 5 shoe, arch fit. Now arch fit technology is throughout the midsole and basically it raises the arch of your foot uh, to spread weight more evenly. That means there's less foot fatigue after a round of golf. And after trying it last year in the Hyper 5, I was really, really impressed. Uh, a bit of a weird sensation to start. You feel a bit more lifted off the ground, but genuinely reduces foot fatigue. So uh, it being featured in the slip-in here is fantastic. And as I said, if that hands-free slip-in technology is something you're looking for, this is a very unique option. Probably the only one on the market at the minute from Skechers and one definitely worth checking out. Right, we're nearly on to my winner for 2023. We've got a couple more to talk about. Next up, please, thank you very much. There she is, the Under Armour Charged Phantom SL. Another unique offering for 2023 that I think a lot of you at home will like. You can see it looks very much like a running trainer. Like the Cole Hahn, actually, it is based off a running trainer. Um, now, knit uppers, what do we think? Let me know, I really like them. They're really lightweight. And thanks to Under Armour's Never Wet technology, it's like a spray they put on top of the shoe. This is fully waterproof. It might not look like it, but you could, you could step into a puddle and no water's getting in. So that's really impressive. When you consider how good this outsole is for a spikeless outsole, I've spoken about a couple that won't work so great in fully wet conditions. This one will. This one is absolutely brilliant in all conditions. We've seen it on uh, a couple of Under Armour shoes from last year, and I thought they were great. So I'm really happy to see it on this shoe. Love the chunky outsole, looks-wise, very on trend. And they're super lightweight. So I love the looks. That outsole is an absolute highlight. And if you want something a bit more casual, they're still pretty unique and really, really comfortable. This is a great option this year. Okay, final shoe we're gonna talk about in this video is the G4 MG4 Plus. Now, it's not strictly a new shoe for this year, but here at Golf Hunting, we love G4 shoes. And there are some new colorways in this one for this year. So that's, that's worth a shout out, I think, in the least. Now, this is another classic hybrid shoe. You can wear it on and off the course really easily. Uh, for me, the absolute highlight, this was all G4 shoes because they all feature it, um, is the uh, footbed, the insole that massages your feet. How about that? It's got little nubs on the inside. So as your foot sort of inches along in the shoe every now and again, you get a little foot massage in that. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, this shoe features it. The MG4 X2 I spoke about last year has it. The Galavanta. And they come in some awesome colorways. As I said, a couple of new ones this year that we love. And just the perfect hybrid shoe. That, that sawtooth outsole you can see gives really great grip all year round, actually. It's a, it's a slightly more unique offering, uh, but really low profile. Great on harder surfaces when you're off the golf course. Uh, and great on it as well in pretty much all conditions. So new colorways for this year and that footbed, that insole that massages your foot. Who wouldn't want that, hey? So the MG4 Plus, an absolute standout for 2023. Right, so there we have it. Those were 11 of the best shoes of 2023. A lot of variety in there, I think. A lot of different styles, spiked and spikeless. So I hope there's one in there that you like the look of. Which one would you go for out of those 11? Or have I missed out a shoe completely that you think should have had a mention in this video? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. But as I said, I have to crown a winner. And it was really, really close this year, I've got to say. Great year for spiked models. It was really close to the Adidas ZG23, which as I said, I've used a lot this year. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the Painter X004 RS, great new model for this year. Really, really impressive. Again, a spiked shoe. But the winner, and only just, it just edged it, was, thank you very much, here it is. It's the Footjoy 
Hyperflex Carbon. And the thing that took it over the line for me, because it's very similar to those shoes, is that Ortholite Impressions footbed. So, so soft, as soon as you take it out of the box, and then it molds to your foot. It feels fantastic. And I think for my uh, winner of 2023, a pretty good looking shoe as well. So there you have it. Thank you very much for joining me from West Hill. I'll see you next time. <music>